Hello, Reality. Good morning, and welcome to our touch points today. Once again, my name is God Gives Us in your regular host and anchor to this ministry. Like we used to do it, we pick our topics, we deliberate on them scripturally to find out the mind of God in those areas of concerns raised and how to respond to Him accordingly. In so doing, those questions that have lingered over the years in our heart and sometimes seem to have defied answers are being tackled. I have the assurance that the Lord has taken care of your own body in this platform. You just have to follow us on our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Put on your notification button as well. Go through the videos that are uploaded, the over 500 of them. Before you finish it, I know that you must have discovered how much the Lord has dealt with your concern. We urge you to use the comment sessions for your testimonies, as well as help us to share these messages. Let them go viral. God bless you as you do so. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for yet another day in your presence. Lord, to study at the foot of the cross. We cannot thank you enough. Lord, we appreciate you. We ask that you teach us today your word. Help us to know you better so that we know how to relate and fellowship with you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Beloved, we are still talking about amusement. And the question now still remains. What kind of amusement is bad? Let's see Ephesians chapter 5 verse 3. The Bible said, Let there be no sexual immorality, impurity, or greed among you. Such sins have no place among God's people. Also see in, in 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 9 to 10, it says, Don't you realize that those who do wrong will not inherit the kingdom of God? Don't fool yourself. Those who indulge in sexual sin or worship idols or commit adultery or a male a prostitute or a, a practice homosexuality or a thieves or greedy people or drunk or drunkards or abusive or cheat people. None of these will inherit the kingdom of God. Praise God. You also see Isaiah chapter 2, verse 7 to 8. Israel is full of silver and gold. There is no end to its treasures. Their, their land is full of War, uh, war horses, there is no end to each chariot. Their land is full of idols. The people worship things they have made with their own hands. Oh, pathetic. You can see Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. Give honor to marriage and remain faithful to one another in marriage. God will surely judge people who are immoral and those who commit adultery. The truth Let's say Nahum chapter 3, verse 4. The Bible said, All this because Nineveh, the beautiful and faithful city, mistress of deadly charms, enticed the nations with, their, with her beauty. She taught them all her magic, enchanting people everywhere. Praise God. Let's also look at Mark chapter 3, Mark chapter 7, verse 20 to 23. Let's look at what it says. It is what comes from inside that defies you. For who, for from within, out of a person's heart, uh, come evil thoughts, sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery, greed, wickedness, deceit, lustful desires, envy, slander, pride, and foolishness. All these vile things come from within. They are what defy you. So we also look at that in uh, Romans chapter one verse uh, 24 but i just want us to take a break from here and they will continue from in romans chapter 1 verse 24 to 26 tomorrow or the next time we meet and i want to take a break and I actually give opportunity to those who want to say lord i think i've had enough i want to give my life to you just pray after me lord jesus thank you for a day like this i surrender my life to you please save me from eternal death and condemnation I don't want to die without knowing you. Wash me by your blood. Breathe upon me the breath of life. Write my name in the book of life. Delete it from the book of death. Satan, withdraw your feeding hands from my life. You did not make me. You cannot uh, keep me either. Thank you, Jesus. I am born again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I congratulate you if you are pretty proud of me this morning. And I encourage you to keep fellowshipping with us here. The Lord has built uh, these manuals or programs to help you grow. You can never know him better elsewhere than in this platform that the Lord has made for you, all right? God bless you as you do so, and I pray that you have a beautiful weekend. 
I pray you have a glorious and wonderful weekend. God bless you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.